Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. Today I just got a box in the mail from Legends of Signum. And this should be, fingers crossed, because I didn't double check because there were a couple other little boxes in there. This should be their new wandering lion man warrior guy. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not the most uh, apt description, but oh yay it was. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is Kojo the Wandering Warrior. So, he's... Big enough that they're not even going to bother with the blister pack, which, I don't know, I always like having the blister pack with the card there. Is there more than one card in here? I don't know. I swear to God, someday, some, oh no, this is really nice and thick, okay. I've gotten so many of these figures, eventually I honestly could probably field an entire faction right off the bat. Now, painted might be a different story, but... Okay, Kojo, Kajo, what was his name again? Kajo, Kajo is going to be a big guy. He's going to be on a 50 millimeter base. That seems to be the going size for a lot of the Beastmen, Animal People that Signum Games has been putting out, with the exception every now and then, like some of the wolves, like Renard running shot here, is actually on a 40 mace. That is what he came with, as far as I can remember. What do we have in store for us today? Okay. So obviously we are dealing with a lion dude. Nice thick piece of resin. Good detailing as always. But that's to be expected. I honestly legit I I really do like the quality of the castings that Legends of Signum does. I know I sound like I'm shilling for him, but I really do enjoy it. This is coming out of my pocket. I really do like these models like the ornate armor. This seems to be an ongoing style that they have with their models. Very hordesy, circle-ish. You want to go wandering nature animals anyway. One of his shoulder pads, the other arm. And in terms of weaponry, it looks like he's going to be carrying a big axe and actually a fancy looking thematic shield. What is this? Ah, okay, don't lose that. That is his lower jaw. We kind of would need that. And then it looks like the torso and the extra leg is a separate piece. We're going to attach it like so. There's his other hand and his tail. So, pretty standard looking construction, other than the fact, I guess, that the leg and the torso are separate. Usually it seems like we get that in one piece, but that's not a big deal. So, give me a sec, I'm going to put our warrior friend all together, and we'll obviously go grab a whole bunch of other models and see how they all turn out. Alright, we got Kojo, Kojo, I still can't figure out his name, oh, and everything's going to fall off. So, pretty simple construction, I obviously haven't glued his shield on yet, and I think that's basically just so I can get a good access to painting the rest of his body. Everything went together nice and solid here. No real complaints, except there is that little gap there between his head and the shoulder pad. You can see one of his dreadlocked parts of his mane there is actually molded on to the shoulder pad, so there is a little gap there. Eh, I'm, I'm not too bothered by it. It's not going to make a big difference to me. Have him on a 50 millimeter base there. And naturally, it's not an obscurities in miniature without grabbing a whole bunch of other models to give you guys a good look-see. So, he's about in scale with Himiko, I think was her name, the Kitsune Priestess. I haven't finished up my other Kitsune models yet from Legends of Signum, but I'm slowly working my way through them, and it looked like at least according to my eyes, that we might be seeing some more of these lions and some of the gnolls, actually, that Legends of Signum has been putting out. It looks like there might be some coming on their Patreon, so I will be keeping an eye on that and let you guys know. Obviously, this is one of the priestesses from Legends of Signum as well, so you can get a good idea of how he scales with their human models. And we have Renal running shot here as well. 
slide the camera over so you can see everybody on screen just to get a good indicator of size now <clears throat> let's see i've got the thing i was going to slowly but surely start building up a lion leonid warband of models and i think he is definitely going to be a heavy bruiser um so what I'm thinking is, and this is just the start of things, there's a couple more that I'm working on actually right now. I know from Best Arum I have a couple other Lion models, but my hope is that once things have improved, I'm going to run a fully feline Lion Warband in Kings of War Vanguard. I'm thinking I'm just going to use him for the time being as a ogre. But someday, someday we will get to play this game in its actual intended purpose. But in the meantime... I think there's a lot of uses for a guy like this. Nice big model. I mean, you can have him hanging out with the Wolfen and stuff if you wanted to go like the Wrath of Kings confrontation route. It's not like there aren't a whole bunch of other wolves from Legends of Signum as well. If you want to have a fully animalized anthropomorphic warband, I think that's definitely doable with Legends of Signum stuff as well. And I really hope we see more lions in the future. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, the only thing I really wish, looking at the artwork, it looks like his mane is a little bit more bulky in the picture. I would have liked just a little bit more oomph, more pizzazz, more volume to his hair. Uh, I feel it's a little flat <laughs> unless I'm giving hair critiques to giant lion men, right? But otherwise, I'd say a really solid looking model. Most of the details and decorative bits from the artwork did show up in the model, which is always a plus. Uh, there's a model I'm going to be having in a video soon from Legends of Signum. I was a little bummed out because there was some neat stuff in the artwork. Not to say the model is bad, but you'll see soon enough. Uh, but there were some cool little bits in the artwork that did not translate into the model. But that's a whole different subject. So overall... Definitely a cool model. Very curious to see if we see more Leonid Lion people in the future from Legends of Signum. And if you do, you can guarantee you're going to see them here as well. I'll be putting a link down below. So if you guys are curious, do give them a good look-see. I know they've been running all sorts of interesting sales pretty regularly. So if there's something you see uh, and it's a bit more pricey than you wish at the moment, never despair. It'll probably be back and you might be able to get a good deal in the future. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.